Hello, my name is Sam Walsh and I'm pastor at the Princeton Advent Christian Church in West Virginia. And I've learned that Mother's Day was started by a person originally from West Virginia. So with that in mind, I was also thinking about the lead up toward Mother's Day this Sunday and about mothers in the Bible. And there are many examples, good examples too. There's some bad examples also, but we won't focus on those today. Even as Jesus was giving his life on the cross, he was thinking about his mother too. And so a passage today, Think About Mothers, comes from John and uh, chapter 19, verse uh, 20. Oh, I should have had my glasses. <laughs> 25. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas and Mary Magdalene, when Jesus therefore saw his mother, and the disciple whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that time, uh, from that hour it says, that disciple took her to his own home. That disciple was, um, by all tradition and all accounts, uh, the apostle John. John uh, changed really his uh, life's plans in order to take care of Mary and while the other disciples and apostles went out in all kinds of places as missionaries, the Apostle John uh, took very seriously this commission to take care of Mary the mother of Jesus and tradition has it, now it's not for sure, but tradition has it that they both went to Ephesus and uh, John took care of her there the rest of her life and uh, provided for her in a good way. And uh, uh, this also actually helped John and put him in a position, uh, having been around Mary, uh, to be softened, shall we say, from one of the sons of thunder into someone who could write uh, the, the majestic gospel of, of John, and then, the, of course, the letters, 1st, 2nd, 3rd John, which emphasize the love of God uh, have for, that he has for all people. And uh, we're thinking of 1st John 3, 1, Behold what manner of love the Father has given us. We should be called the children of God or sons of God. So uh, it wasn't convenient for John, but he carried out Jesus' mission for him and to care for uh, Jesus' uh, mother, Mary, uh, and uh, the rest of his life was changed. And it was a positive change. We also want to think about that, too, as we uh, think about mothers in this week and even during this uh, coronavirus time. Uh, there are tremendous pressures coming against mothers uh, of school-age children and we think about mothers that might be by themselves as well and um, this is a good time to remember or to pray for our mothers and uh, to remember to be a mother also in some sense to others as well uh, so let love shine through you today and remember our mothers let's pray your father in heaven we trust you and we uh, thank you for your uh, uh, great love for mothers. And we pray that you will show them extra love today and help us also in this process of upholding those that uh, need to be cared for. In Jesus' name, amen.